Hi everyone, this is Dan with Wise Money Tools and welcome back. You know, in this series that we're kind of referring to as the most important videos that we've done so far, we've talked a lot about the challenges that we have all to deal with when it comes to our money and investing. We got risk, inflation, taxes, interest rates, markets, and, and of course, trying to figure out how to get income. Today we want to talk about schools and universities and really how archaic they are. Now I know we've talked about this in the past, but we wanted to put this all together so people, especially young people, can kind of see a whole picture. You know, in the next decade, we're likely to see some massive changes in our educational system, for the better. We're also gonna see how someone takes advantages of opportunities as well. I can't believe we still operate schools the way we do. <laughs> I mean, where is the innovation? Schools, you know, back in the day, they taught you to how to become another spoke in the wheel, so to speak, a laborer, just a drone working for a wage. There wasn't a lot of opportunity for someone with no money to start a business. Everyone was pretty much taught to go to school, get a job, get some benefits, work the rest of your life away. However, today we live in a whole new world. The internet has changed everything. About the only thing that hasn't changed, unfortunately, is our educational system. It's outdated, it's costly, and it's no longer performing its vital function. As an example, what do you think the goal is of a university? Is it so the student comes out with a degree and has some basic knowledge? Well, if that is the goal, then there are faster and more productive ways for acquiring that knowledge. And a degree is just a piece of paper that says you learned something. The goal of college seems to be a little bit different than just education. It seems to have a lot of money behind it. In fact, it can burden students with tens of thousands of dollars in debt. And the school ends up having a massive fortunes that they can invest. Then the schools can pay all the teachers and professors essentially the same, protect them from ever being fired, no matter how bad they are, and limit their upside potential no matter how good they are. It's kind of like a typical government-run business. What college tends to do is it forces the student to get a job so that they can pay off their student loans and live paycheck to paycheck for decades. This may not be the stated goal of the universities, but unfortunately that's becoming the result. And as far as learning and being educated, you can do that so much faster so much more effectively without paying thousands and thousands of dollars to an outdated school system. Do this simple exercise for me. Search on YouTube about some topic or interest that you might have. Suppose you like astronomy or math or writing, whatever it is. Once you begin your search, I'll bet you could spend hours and hours on that subject. Do you want to buy or start a business? You know there's literally hundreds of extremely successful people willing to share their ideas with you for free. More importantly, because it's something you're interested in, I'll bet within a few days or a few weeks, you'll actually have learned more than a semester of college in the same subject. If the true goal of school is education, then why aren't we taking full advantage of what's available and how to be educated easily? You know, Google figured out that hiring high school graduates was better for them than the college grads. They wanted them to learn kind of the, the Google way and college actually muddied the water. You know, kids go to college with the idea that they're gonna be taught by an amazing professor with all kinds of knowledge and skill and maybe a few of them will get lucky because I know there are some good professors and teachers out there. But sadly, the reality is most of those who teach at schools have never proven themselves in the real world, the real business world that is. They aren't real world successful. I like the business schools that are actually taught by successful business owners, not just lecturers and theories. Here's what baffles me. Why have the really good teachers and professors not figured out that they could have a massive following and be rock stars in their area of expertise? simply by creating their own following. Think about it like this. Suppose Einstein were alive today. I think we all pretty much would agree that he is Mr. Math genius, right? He's kind of the Michael Jordan of physics, if you will. What if you were interested in what he taught? 
What if you were interested in math and physics and you could attend a class that he taught for one dollar? Would you pay it? Well, of course you would. Now, let's look at it from Einstein's perspective. He could use Zoom or some other kind of video conferencing software. And let's just say because of his popularity, he had 100,000 kids willing to pay him a dollar for his class. That's $100,000 for a one or two hour class. Now suppose he offers this class three times a week and his course runs a typical semester or about nine weeks. So $3 a week times nine weeks, that's $27 to the student. Now let's suppose this student does the same thing in seven different classes per semester with the best of the best in their field of knowledge. The cost for the semester with the best teachers ever, 189 bucks. And the student can probably finish a four year college degree in less than a year because he's focused on the exact topic that the student is interested in. Now I understand this theory of being well-rounded education, I get that, but seriously, if you want to be a doctor, does spending a semester reading and writing a book report on Beowulf really going to get you where you want to be? If you're interested in reading, well, Beowulf, it might be the way you spend your leisure time. College in particular should let you focus on what you need to get done in school to be on your way to the career that you're interested in. All the core stuff can actually be wasted years of the student's life and and then unfortunately shackles them down with debt, just crushing them for years to come. Now again, let's go back to Einstein. Suppose you were Einstein and you could teach three classes a week for two hours, let's just say, and you could do that for a nine week session. And you have 100,000 students all paying you a dollar from all over the world. That's $300,000 per week for about six hours of work. Now we times that nine times because of this semester. So we're gonna get $2.7 million to teach those classes per semester. And in a whole year's time, about $5.4 million. And only working 18 weeks out of the year. Still a little less than Michael Jordan, but you get the idea. And you know what else Einstein can do? He can sell his recorded classes to a million other students who couldn't attend these classes for one reason or another. Okay, so you're not an Einstein. Really, it doesn't matter. Are you a really good math teacher? What if you only had 2,000 students? And by the way, students can be worldwide. 2,000 students, three days a week, 48 weeks a year, is about a $288,000 income if they're just paying you a dollar. Probably more than you're making now as a teacher or a professor. At 5,000 students, you're making 720,000 a year. The best part is, is you can build a curriculum. You can be exciting to listen to and teach with passion. The kids are gonna love it. You don't have to necessarily be Michael Jordan or Einstein, just be innovative, likable. The kids will learn and you'll make more money than you'd ever make sitting in a classroom, hired by a school, lecturing on the chalkboard. Now, I don't see why the good teachers aren't making a million dollars or more per year. Get creative, get innovative, start a YouTube channel and get going. You just have to convince the archaic school board that your students know more and can retain what they've learned going through your methods. Once someone breaks this barrier, I think the sky's the limit. And here's another thing. Why burden these kids with a bunch of core classes when they could pursue their interests and degrees from day one. They're getting the core classes from high school. The cost of education is absurd as well. Nearly everything taught in college is available for free on the internet somewhere today. But they're forced to pay these ridiculous tuitions, go at a snail's pace, waste four years of their life, and they could have been building their career but yet they burden themselves with debt for years and years, all for an education that is much more easily acquired. We're killing our kids with debt and wasted time. Now, some would argue it's good for kids to get out of the home and grow up and meet other people, and certainly I understand that. But my suspicion is that's gonna happen some way, somehow, anyway. Never mind that many of these kids simply just use the time to party, right? 
Look at the wealthiest people in America. Many of them are college dropouts or never went. Now, I'm not suggesting there isn't value in education. Of course there is. Because these wealthy people, uh, even who didn't go to college, they're very smart. Maybe not the typical college degree smart, but they're highly self-educated. I mean, if you're interested in entrepreneurship or owning a business, wouldn't you rather listen to guys like Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos and Bill Gates? And how about those guys on Shark Tank as investors? Wouldn't you take a class from them if they offered one? There are other ways. If a half a dozen really good professors figured this out, it could change the entire way kids go to school and the way they learn and how they progress. Suppose a really popular professor started this and only had 500 or 1,000, maybe 2,000 students worldwide and only charged a dollar per class. And by the way, maybe it's $5 a class or even $10 a class. The idea is to make it so inexpensive that the kids will be able to afford it. These professors would make $1,000 an hour or $2,000 an hour or $5,000 an hour. The better they are at teaching, the bigger their audience, the more they would make. They will get paid by their ability, just like other business owners do, other employees do, and athletes as an example. That's how it should be. The best teachers, the best professors should be making the most money. I mean, the best businessmen make the most money. The best salespeople make the most money. The best employees and managers make the most money. And again, the best athletes certainly make the most money. Yet teachers can't do any better than their fellow teacher who may actually stink at teaching. And you really can't fire them. The day someone figures this out and sets out to create a whole new innovative and productive way to teach kids is gonna be the next billionaire. Now, I realize this doesn't have a lot to do with what we do. <laughs> I mean, we leverage life insurance so that you can build your wealth. However, it does in the sense that we've taken a very safe and boring investment and turn it into something very productive and very exciting. And we expect exceptional returns. We also are big believers in starting young and starting early, thinking outside the box, being innovative. If all you did was take the money that you were using to pay for these expensive colleges and you saved 80% of that, you'll have more money than you ever thought possible. Now again, we're not suggesting that education isn't important. We simply think that there's a better, less expensive way and a more productive way to get educated in this modern society. Just like with money, time and compounding is the key. The younger the college kids are, the more time they have. Just like we're hoping that the best teachers in the world will think outside the box, we've developed the best investment strategy in the world, at least so we think so, way outside the box. We've really cracked the code when it comes to investing. And we'll show you how. We're gonna show you how you can get double digit returns as much as two or three times more than the average return shown by traditional financial advisors. Keep your money safe and with underlying guarantees. Also keep liquidity and access to your money. We also wanna show you how to produce four to five times more income than the traditional methods of investing. You'll never have to worry about stock market crashes again, and you can leave a pile of money for your family when you finally exit the planet. And best of all, you can do this all tax-free. You see, the traditional methods are kind of like traditional schools. They're not working. Even the best projected returns is not gonna get you where you wanna be financially. You need to build your wealth safely and tax-free. Well, that's it for this video. A little offshoot, sorry about that, but I think it's really good to think outside the box in all walks of life. If you have any questions, send them to dan at wisemoneytools.com. We'll answer them just as quick as we can. And if you're ready for a free strategy session to see how this could work in your situation, just click on the link below and schedule a time that works for you. At the very least, you're gonna be armed with more financial knowledge and knowledge is power. It will change your financial life forever, I promise. Until next time, take care.